guys welcome back today to another video hope you're all enjoying your day and yeah today is monday the 30th of november so basically um today i am going to be talking about the two premier league games that are going to be happening tonight um i don't know if i'm going to actually end up watching either of them but i am going to watch highlights at least anyway i'll probably watch the um Fulham Leicester game. I'm not sure about West Ham Aston Villa yet. Um so yeah, let's just look at um the Leicester Fulham game because that's on a half five and it's less than an hour till that game will start, so yeah. Okay, so Leicester are starting with Schmeichel um Fon Fuana Evans, Fuchs, Justin, Tienemans, Mendy, Luke Thomas, Pratt, Madison and Vardy. And then Fulham have Areola, Alina, and, and Anderson, Aprikabayo, Robinson, Augusta, Reed, Reed, so there's Harrison Reed, Bobby Reed, Loftus Cheek, Luckman, and Cavaliero. So actually, that's interesting that they're not starting Mitrovic, but... Um, if Leicester win this game tonight, they could hit top of the table, which would be like a really good achievement. Like, considering like really good for them, because considering Liverpool only drew the other night, and a win for Fulham would be very good. But I don't think it's going to happen. If Fulham won, they go into seventeenth. And Leicester would, depending on goal difference. So, yeah. Basically, I think this is going to be a really easy game for Leicester, I think, personally. Um, Leicester looked a stronger team, but you never know what's going to happen. And then at 8 o'clock, we have West Ham Aston Villa. Um, again, that's going to be a really interesting game because both teams... We'll probably need the points as the season goes on. I know Aston Villa have had a great start to the season and everything. Beating Arsenal. Not, I'm definitely not salty about us playing bad against them. But like, they deserve to be us that night. But anyway, that's just completely off topic. So yeah, like this game is going to be fairly interesting. Both those games actually tonight in the Premier League. There's an FA Cup game. Boreham Wood, Carvery Island. And then, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, so yeah, I will talk to you in a bit when the game has when the game has started. So yeah. All right, guys. So it is actually currently two nil to Fulham. Like, what? What? It's two nil to Fulham. <laughs> that Fulham mustn't be too, or I mean, Leicester mustn't be too happy with that. I said that Leicester should be winning this game, but they're losing it. Let's just look at possession and stuff, like, because... Despite all odds, Leicester have had 70% possession, 7 shots, 1 on target. Compared to... Fulham's 30%, 6 shots, 4 on target. Like... Whew. It was, um... A Luckman goal and a... Calerio penalty. So, you know, like, this is... Interesting, like, I wasn't expecting the game to go this way. At all. So, yeah. Guys, that's basically all I have to say at the moment. Like, I'll talk to you full time, but, like, this is really interesting. Considering most of the momentum is with Leicester as well in this game. You know, it's very shocking to see, but... Whatever, like... Fair play to Fulham if they can get a win. They really need it, like... If they want to stay up, so, you know... Yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So, Alright guys, so I'm going to talk about the Fulham Leicester game. It is over now. Well, it's been over for a while actually. I never actually got to talk about West Ham, Aston Villa. So, um, it ended 2 1 to Fulham. Harvey Barnes scored a goal. Um, What time was it again? The 86th minute. And uh, let's just look at statistics here because this is probably going to be really, really interesting. 
Leicester had 67% possession, 16 shots, compared to Fulham's 33% in on target, or 10 shots, I mean. Like, that was a good win for Fulham, like, it brings them out of the relegation zone for now, they've taken it. West Brom have dropped to 18, so, yeah, that's a really good result for them, what else can I really say about it, like, so, um, it's currently, oh, okay, so West Ham, Aston Villa, the second half is just after starting, and I think it might be 2-1 to West Ham, I'm not sure who scored the goal, but Ogbana, Ogbana scored the goal to put uh, West Ham ahead, and then um, Jack Grealish levelled in the 25th minute, it was Bowen. I think it was Bowen that scored the goal. Just give me two seconds. I will check. I think it was Bowen anyway. Oh. This will take a second to load. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's check. Let's check. Let's check. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was born and it does count. Um, so yeah, let's just look at the statistics so far in the second half. Um, so Aston Villa have actually had sixty percent possession compared to West Ham's forty, and Aston Villa have actually had more shots with six compared to West Ham's five. They've both had two on target. Um, West Ham are winning and still they missed a big chance. Or they didn't. They didn't miss any big chance. But Aston Villa missed one big opportunity. So, yeah, guys. That's basically all I have to say at the moment. I'm going to go watch the rest of the second half of West Ham, Aston Villa. So, yeah, guys. I will talk to you full time. So, yeah. Talk to you in a bit. Right, guys. So, it's actually the next day now. Um, I'm going to talk about the West Ham, Aston Villa game last night. Because I completely forgot to talk about it last night full time. So, it ended 2-1 to West Ham in the end. Um... I think it was Borden that scored the goal in the 46th minute. I think I said that because it was just after half time. Um, so Aston Villa got a penalty. Ollie Watkins missed, he hit off the post and it was saved. And then Ollie Watkins, there was a goal disallowed for being offside. So, um, yeah, so it ended up just being 2 1. And Aston Villa actually dominated this game. They had 66% possession, 16 shots, 6 on target. Um, compared to West Ham's 34% possession with 6 shots, 2 on target. Jeez. Aston Villa missed 3 big chances. Um, as in where West Ham had 1 big chance and they took it. Let's look at some of the other games last night. El Barbet, Real Batiste 2-0. Um, Toronto and some... Sampdoria in the 2-2, Parma, Bet Genova 2-1. In the FA Cup, Boreham Woodbeck, Karen V Island, Trina, let's just see. Um, so it was Timashgana, Smith and Reed. Let's look at statistics. Okay, so Boreham would have 56% possession compared to Karen Reed's 44 However, he only had four shots the whole game. Bournemouth had... And they had um, 21 shots. So, I guess that's basically all I have to say. Hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe. I will be talking about the Ireland women's game t tonight. And I'll also be doing uh, Champions League content tonight. So, yeah. I'll talk to you in tomorrow's video. So, yeah. Peace out.